Hello, Arun here. Now, I hope everyone is well during these interesting, I suppose, challenging times. Um, well, the last few months since February, since the Ukraine war broke out, we've seen lots of challenges across um, many sectors and for many people. Um, now, the purpose of this video and a series of videos that I'll be doing over the next few weeks and months is to really try and help our clients and help any watchers and listeners to manage this cost of living crisis. Now, in these times, we, in recent times, actually even the last 20, 30 years, I don't think many people would have experienced such inflationary costs, um, such the prospect of interest rates rising at rapid paces, which could potentially happen, and, and a, such a volatile stock market. And I think what we're gonna see over the next few months and maybe the next couple of years, this cost of living crisis is actually getting, getting, getting actually a little bit more, more challenging. We've seen energy prices rise, um, we're seeing food prices rise. We're seeing the prospect of um, job losses maybe occurring if a recession occurs, which it looks like it will occur over the next few months. Um, so how do you deal with all these situations? How do you cope with these um, variables that we cannot control? Well, in my view, in my experience, we can control certain things, but there are many things we cannot control. So a large, large point, uh, part of this whole exercise is to make sure that you know what you can control, but then also don't worry too much about the things you can't control. So how will you cope with this cost of living crisis? Well, I suppose there are three things that you need to consider when um, you're dealing with your money or you're dealing with um, important funds of your own. It's firstly, how do I protect? How do I protect my money in this kind of volatile market? How do I save more, um, i.e. can I cut some further costs in my business, in my personal expenditure? And how can I still grow in this marketplace? Um, um, and you're thinking, well, how can you grow if things are so bad, if things are so negative and interest rates are rising and market, volatile stock markets and costs are rising, can I actually grow my business? Well, yes, you can, um, but you have to be smart, you have to be savvy, you have to be adaptable and you have to be flexible. So really what I wanna get across th through in this initial introduction video today is that you have to look at those three things, protect, save and grow. Now, when you come to come in to protect, you want to protect your existing assets, whether it's cash, whether it's property, whether it's shares, whether it's your business. So how do I protect that so it doesn't get impacted too greatly by this um, cost of living crisis? Then secondly, how do I say, what am I going to save? Where can I cut back? Where can I change? Where can I alter? Can I look for different energy suppliers? Can I use different shops, different suppliers? Of course you can. There's always an option to save. So be savvy and be smart. And then when it comes to growing, well, whilst things are um, challenging, no doubt about it, in the marketplace, you can grow your business. Perhaps you need to change your pricing. Perhaps you need to change and do it, have off different offerings. Perhaps you can um, look at alternative income streams for your business and for yourself. So what I'm gonna get across over the next few weeks and months is a range of ideas and tips and solutions, which I hope will stimulate some thoughts um, and stimulate some ideas for you to actually take some action. There's no point putting your head in the sand and just worrying and you, you think you're gonna ride this out. No, you can't ride this out. You've gotta take the bull by the horns and you've actually gotta grab it and move forward positively. Now, there'll be some times when you make a move forward and you take three steps forward and you actually take three steps back, four steps back, that's life, okay? But if you aren't taking action, if you aren't doing something positive to move your financial situation better and, um, progressive, then you're already moving backwards. Watch out for further videos. I'd be delighted to help in any way. We'll be doing webinars, I'll be doing articles. Um, and if you've got any queries, just reach out to me on aronatsamero.co.uk. I'll be delighted to help. So in summary, you can do it. You can get through this cost of living crisis. And if you need any help, we are here. And watch this blog page um, for updates on a very regular basis. Thank you.